Okay, I'll start things off by saying thank you for taking the time to attend the presentation today. My name is Lance Zurich, and today we're going to take a brief look at two special curriculum-based sets uh, from Studica that are designed specifically for introducing students in middle schools, high schools, and in homeschool environments to the fundamental principles behind mechatronics. Now, each of these sets are designed for conducting what we would call a project-based class, and that's where students will be required to design and build a series of original prototypes based upon their own research and activities. And each set includes standards-focused curriculum, which was created especially for Studica by noted educator and STEM expert, Tom White. So today we're gonna to start off where so many technology-focused presentations for education seem to start these days, and that's with the skills gap that exists. Now, when you hear someone reference the skills gap or talk about the need for better STEM education in the schools, STEM, of course, being an acronym which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Well, when you hear someone say this, what they're essentially talking about is that there is an urgent need to prepare our students with the background they need to successfully compete in the job market that they're going to be graduating into. Now, in the employment market that once greeted our grandparents or even our parents, a good work ethic, a strong back, and being able to take directions might have been enough to land a good paying job where many of the technical aspects of that time could be learned on the fly. But now students must be prepared to enter a world that is increasingly focused on things like programming, automation, IoT, and all sorts of rapid advances in all aspects of technology. In short, students must be able to demonstrate technical literacy and aptitude if they hope to compete and succeed. Now, this is, of course, why so much of the emphasis in education over the last decade has been on developing STEM skills. Every new advantage that we enjoy, such as whatever tablets and smartphones we may all be using daily, all of these things were created because of individuals who helped to make those advances. Countries all around the globe, countries like China and India and so many others, are making major strides in developing new technological advances and preparing their own students to take their place in the future workforce. Now, here in the United States, we also need to prepare the next generation of students with the skills, the mindset, and the habits that will enable them not only to secure jobs, but also to be part of the new wave of advancements that we will rely on to stay competitive on the world stage and to maintain our stature as a world power. Now, as I have no doubt that anyone attending a webinar like this is already in agreement about the importance of STEM education to technology-focused programs, let's now move right along to the main topic, which is, of course, mechatronics. Mechatronics has been called the science of intelligent machines. It's a study that focuses on electrical systems, control and mechanical systems, robotics, the Internet of Things, and computer science. All extremely important subject areas for students to be exposed to, and all skill sets that are highly prized in today's technology-focused job market. But just how prized are these skills? Well, per the website careerexplorer.com, the average salary for a mechatronics engineer in the United States is currently around $96,980 per year. So while, of course, the students who go on to secure these prize career positions are the ones who prepare themselves by pursuing the proper post-secondary coursework, they need to start developing the habits and the career focus as early on in their education as possible, in, in high school, if not even in middle school. Now, the dilemma for educators, whether it's in the classroom or the homeschool environment, is in finding ways of introducing this type of subject matter to their students in a way that gets them interested and involved in the learning process and not just doing mo or wrote, uh, rote memorization of obscure facts just so they can take a few tests just to promptly forget it and flush it all away. No, to best help students to be successful and to really encourage them to consider pursuing further education in subject areas such as this, Educators need to be able to present the material in a way that makes it relevant, which of course means answering the eternal student question of why do we need to know this, but it also needs to be engaging in a way that holds the student's attention far better than wrote, you know, textbooks and lectured presentations and YouTube videos and something that has real world applications in which the students can get involved in doing things hands on. 
So it's with this dilemma in mind that we created the Studica Mechatronics program. Now, these two special sets, one of which is designed as an introduction to the world of mechatronics, and one of which is intended to essentially be a standalone class dedicated to the subject of mechatronics, these were created to provide all of the materials in one place that educators would need to enable them to offer a project-based class that's relevant, engaging, realistic, hands-on, and which is crafted to meet the most current academic standards. Each of the two Studica Mechatronics program sets comes with its own detailed day-by-day -day curriculum document, which again was created especially for Studica by noted educator and STEM expert, Tom White. The curriculum itself comes as a downloadable PDF, which is available for free with the purchase of each set. The curriculum is designed to align to the most widely accepted academic standards that are currently in place in the United States. And the curriculum is also designed for offering a project-based learning program. And this means that solving the problems that were going to arise in each unit will require that the students have to be actively involved in the research, the design process, the trial and error and experimentation activities, and the building of actual working prototypes that will provide the required answers to the, the questions being put forth in each unit. And students aren't going to be asked to do this alone, no. They're going to be asked to work in small groups or teams of four students each. This also helps to develop the soft skills that students also need, maybe just as much as they need to develop technical skills. And of course, when we say things like soft skills, we mean things like communication skills, teamwork, adaptability, problem solving, and of course, leadership. And finally, with the exception of some very, well, actually, it's not even affordable software anymore. It's actually free software now. But with the exception of some free software, which we provide access on downloading once you purchase this, each set includes all of the physical building materials that the group is going to need to address all the design projects presented throughout the course of the curriculum. Now, the curriculum is designed to enable teachers of all backgrounds, even teachers from non-science or technology-focused disciplines, to have the information they need at hand to properly prepare them for conducting the activities and to increase their own comfort in presenting the material to their students. The curriculum is designed to be clear and easy to follow and provides a clear roadmap for student learning. Various supplemental materials are included throughout the course of the curriculum, both in link form and also at the end of each unit. And there are also special tutorials on familiarizing students with the building system they're going to be using to help them address the projects presented in each of these units. The units in the curriculum are designed as a series of projects. Each of these projects is presented to the students in the form of an engaging real world style scenario where students must work together in small teams, again, four students per group, to create a solution to the problem, the dilemma being presented. The project units each contain embedded academics. And at the end of each unit, the students will be required to make a formal presentation of the prototype that they have designed to address their particular unit's real world scenario and to explain the reasoning behind the way they constructed their prototype, why it's better, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there is a, a technical literacy task that is driven by each of these projects. As they work to address each project, students are going to acquire the knowledge they need through inquiry and exploratory research. Science, math, and technical skills are acquired through the carefully designed enabling activities. And again, as required by each project, students will be asked to create original prototypes. And of course, any required programming-based solutions and also to maintain detailed documentation throughout the entire process. Now, as I've touched on a few times in this presentation already, the curriculum that accompanies each of the mechatronics program sets was created especially for Studica by a man named Tom White. You see Tom there in his uh, peach shirt. Uh, Tom is a noted educator who's been involved in teaching STEM and technology since the 1970s, and he's known for designing programs for educational institutions and for industry. In fact, as an expert in hardware and software integration, Tom was pivotal in introducing CAD, CAM, control systems, digital control, additive manufacturing, and other such topics to the classroom. Now, currently, Tom is the Director of Technology for STEM Curriculum at the globally recognized industrial manufacturing company, 
Siemens. The standards addressed in the Stuka Mechatronics program are the most widely accepted standards currently in place in the United States. These include the college and career readiness standards for mathematics, reading, and writing, as well as the next generation science standards for K-12 and the standards for technological literacy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the programs are designed to be project-based. And when students ask, why do we need to know this? It's usually because the subject matter that they're being presented with might come across as maybe too abstract to ever really be useful in their lives. But with this project-based approach, students get to see firsthand why these things are necessary and why they're useful. The concept of working in the small groups again to solve these project problems, et cetera, really helps students to develop the high demand soft skills that employers look for. And again, these are things like communication, analytical skills, uh, quantitative skills, flexibility, uh, adaptability, and problem solving, of course. Now in this project-based format, all of the subject matter is integrated. And that means that the math is integrated with the reading and the writing and so on. And which is, this kind of approach is really ideal for STEM education. Also, because of the manner in which students must approach each of the projects being put forth in the curriculum, again, with the research that's involved, the testing, and the group give and take, just to give a few examples, because of this, it allows for a much deeper exploration of problems than traditional teaching methods might normally allow. The projects presented in each unit are also designed so that if you have several groups working on the same project as you, as you will, you should see variations in the types of prototypes and solutions that are being crafted by each of these student groups. Now, this can be because of creativity, or it could be because of differences in research or approaches taken by the different groups. But in any case, because of this, students also get to see firsthand that problems can have many different answers, and that often there is not only one right answer. Each project in the curriculum presents students with the opportunity to plan, to organize, and conduct the research. The enabled in excuse me, the enabling activities that students are asked to engage in provide them with the skills and the knowledge that they need to draw on to complete each project in just in time. And students will be required to do extensive research as they complete each of these projects, research that's going to be utilized in the design phase, the prototyping, testing, evaluation, and redesign phases of each of these solutions. And again, the Studica Mechatronics sets are designed specifically for students to work in group, groups. Each set contains enough material for teams of four students. The team approach is, again, as stated before, helps to promote the soft skills, communication, the ability to work well with others, and leadership. And the sets offer an easily scalable approach. Just divide the number of students in your classroom by four to determine the number of sets you're going to need for each class. And again, everything you need to conduct the program, with the exception of the programming software I mentioned, which we'll, we'll talk about at the end, is included inside each box. Access to the free curriculum download is included with the purchase of each set. And also included are all of the building materials which students will use in the creation of each of their prototypes. The materials are from the unique Fisher Technic building system. And among the components included in each set are two robotic controllers, such as you see on the screen now, and two power supplies. Of course, just to touch on real briefly here, if you're not familiar with Fisher Technic, allow me to provide you with just a little bit of background. Fisher Technic is a flexible and innovative construction system. Now, unlike other popular construction sets where they're designed to simply stack, the Fisher Technic system was created with more of an engineering mindset. The core building block in the Fisher Technic system is unique and that it allows attachment from all six sides. And because of this, it allows for almost limitless design possibilities. Many of the parts are designed to slide together and lock in place using a tongue and groove assembly method. And the system itself also includes a wide array of very specific parts, different things like variations on gears, different size girders, sensors, and so much more. 
And because of this, it allows technical builders to address equally specific design needs. The system itself was created back in the 1960s by German inventor Arthur Fischer, also noted for countless innovations used in the construction and the automotive industries. Now, Mr. Fischer, at the time of his death in 2016, had amassed more patents in his name than Thomas Alva Edison had amassed during his own lifetime. Now, besides Fischer Hechner, Mr. Fischer was the inventor of synchronized flash photography, and this was back in 1949. And he is also credited as the creator of the expanding nylon wall plug, which is commonly used in conjunction with a screw or a bolt to help anchor heavy objects to walls. His company, the Fisher Group, employs thousands of workers worldwide, producing many variations of fastening devices such as this and other devices used in building construction, as well as components used in automobile manufacturing. And they are also known for, for providing consulting services related to high-end automated processes. So with all that being said, Let's begin looking at each of these two, uh, two individual sets. And we're going to start off with the Studica Introduction to Mechatronics Program Set. Or for those of you who like to use acronyms, we like to with STEM and things like that, you could call this one SIM. The set is designed to help provide a well-rounded introduction to the core concepts of mechatronics. Each set includes access to a free download of a 242-page curriculum document entitled Mechatronics Fundamentals, written again by Tom White. The curriculum itself contains enough activity material to fill up approximately 45 academic hours. Now, as such, we recommend this program set for insertion into regular related class activities, for conducting a short class unto itself, or for using in after school programs, or of course, for homeschool use. The curriculum created for each of these sets is standards focused again using the academic standards most widely recognized in U.S.-based education today and is designed for offering a project-based program. The set is designed for use in middle or high school classes or again for addressing those same grade levels in a homeschool environment. The set contains a collection of over 700 Fisher Technic building components and then again this will be everything from gears, wheels, axles, different types of blocks, sensors, and much more as well as two robotic controllers and two power supplies. Again, only the required robotic control software, which we'll get into at the end, is not included in the box. And otherwise, everything else you need is right there. Now, the curriculum for the Student Introduction to Mechatronics program set consists of six project units, and they are as follows, sketching and documentation, simple machines, mechanical systems, basic electricity, the conversion and storage of energy, and an introduction to control systems. There are also activities included to address the following topic areas that come up during the course of the curriculum. Sketching, linkage diagrams, schematics, Ohm's law and power, pneumatics, flow charts, using software and the robotic controllers, working with sensors such as the digital switch and the digital photo transis transistor, working with open loop and closed loop programming and digital branching, working with analog sensors such as the photo cell LDR, working with analog branching, and the other analog sensors, the NTC resistor and the potentiometer. Now, before we go further into the structure of the curriculum, let's first look at what is covered in the second set. And the second set is the Studica Teaching Application of Mechatronics Program, or if we talk about those acronyms, you could call it STAMP. The set is designed for those educators and homeschool uh, parents who wish to provide a more in-depth exploration of the fundamental aspects of mechatronics. This set comes with access to a free downloadable 400 plus page curriculum document entitled Mechatronic Applications, again by Tom White. The activity materials in this curriculum document, when used in conjunction with the contents of the set, is designed to fill approximately 180 academic hours. So this is essentially four times the amount of academic hours as is covered by the previously discussed set. As such, this set can be seen as a more expansive version of the material touched upon in the first set, 
and is designed for those educators who are able to dedicate a daily class period of approximately 50 minutes a day for five days a week or the equivalent each week for a full academic year. Again, this is designed for offering students a standards-focused project-based learning experience and is designed for use in middle school, high school, or for addressing similar grade levels in the homeschool environment. The materials in the set consist of a selection of over 1,200 Fisher Technic building components. Again, this will include a wide array of gears, blocks, sensors, axles, and many other things, as well as two robotic controllers and two power supplies. Again, there is software that's required and we will provide you the information for downloading that when you, when you get this. Now, there are twice as many project units included in the Studica Teaching Application of Mechatronics Program set as are included in the previously discussed set. And this will include units on sketching and documentation, simple machines, mechanical systems, basic electricity, as well as project units focusing on the creation of a garage door, an elevator control, an automatic pneumatic clamping system, an automatic matic, uh, pneumatic fender system, a conveyor with a counter, a robotic control, a sun tracking solar panel, and a color sorting machine. And again, during the course of the curriculum, there are links that are provided to tutorial sections and activity materials for students to utilize. And these include sections on sketching, linkage diagrams, schematics, Ohm's law and power, flow charts, using the programming software and the robotic controllers, working with open loop programming, working with sensors such as the digital switch and the digital photo transistor, working with closed loop programming, digital branching, logic gates, combinational logic, edge triggered versus level triggered, pneumatics, variables, positions, recording positions, creating a graphical user interface, analog sensors such as the photocell LDR, the NTC resistor, the potentiometer, and a section about working with data. So now that we've had a look at how each of these sets differs and the specific subject matter that's covered by each set, let's now look at exactly how the curriculum itself is structured. Both versions of the curriculum do share the same format when it comes to the structure of each of the project units the students are going to go through. And as already discussed, each version will again, of course, include tutorial materials, activity materials, standards, and of course, supplemental materials. Now, in each case, the curriculum is designed to be turnkey. And what I mean by that is that each unit is designed to clearly spell out everything that's going to be addressed, and again, to provide tutorials and other information as the topics arise. Now, this was done specifically to help enable teachers from all kinds of backgrounds, including especially those teachers who may come from a non-science or non-tech focused background, it is does often happen with the teachers who end up being involved with robotics programs and what have you in school. To, the idea, again, was to enable these teachers to quickly become comfortable with delivering the material simply by reviewing each section before they present it in class. So it's really designed to kind of pack your parachute, give you what you need to know so that you can, of course, go forth and present the material confidently. Each unit presented in the curriculum for each of these sets will include the following sections. An introduction, the purpose of the project, the concepts being addressed, an outline of what will be covered, the standards that apply, the assessment rubrics, the essential question, a student scenario, that real world style scenario that I've talked about a few times, a daily plan, the vocabulary, and the resources. So with that said, let's look at each of these sections a little more in depth. First off, you have the introduction purpose of the project. And this unit, each unit will start with an introductory section that as you would likely gather from the name that provides a brief description right at the top of what's going to be explored in the coming days and, and the various activities that the students are going to perform. There is all, this is also the section that will seek to clearly spell out to the students why they're learning this specific material and of course, why it's important for them to know. 
The next section, concepts, focuses on the main concepts to be addressed in each unit. And these are, of course, the broad ideas that are going to be explored during the, during the course of the unit and the core information that students should take from this project that's going to be essential for them to understand and utilize, not only today, not only for a test, but to draw upon as they move forward, hopefully in STEM fields of study, and if they choose to prefer it or to uh, pursue it further in STEM-related careers. Following this, we encounter the outline. And in this section, we're going to drill down more specifically to what's going to be addressed in the unit. As the example that uh, we have up on the screen right now is taken from the unit that addresses aspects of programming, you will see that we touch on areas such as the methods for writing programs, which are going to include things like flow charts and word problems and what have you. Uh, program characteristics, for example, is it open or closed loop? Uh, branching, is it digital, analog, subprograms, and so on. Next up is a section of each project unit that's focused on the specific academic standards that are going to be addressed in the unit. Again, as you will see, this includes the college and career readiness math standards, reading standards for literacy and history and social studies, writing standards for literacy and history, social studies, science, and technical subjects, the National Research Council's next generation science standards for grades K to 12, and the standards for technological literacy. Each project unit will also contain rubrics. There are going to be both rubrics for the specific project being covered, along with general rubrics for literacy tests. Next up is the essential question. And this can be thought of as the big picture question that's going to be focused on in each of the smaller units uh, or each of the individual activities during the course of the unit. And of course, all of the aspects of the larger project, which students are going to be asked to complete by the end of this particular section. The student scenario is where the specifics of the project to be addressed are finally spelled out. And this is always presented, as I've talked about before, in the context of a real world style scenario where students are presented with a problem that needs to be solved by, and it's going to be solved by creating some sort of a device, a machine, a mechanism, what have you. Now, as I mentioned before, students don't do this alone. They're instead, they must work together in small teams to craft their answer to this challenge they're being presented with. So solving this problem will require each team of students to design a unique and original answer, which once again will usually be in the form of a working prototype along with whatever programming may be required. Now, just to provide an example, if you look closely at the student scenario shown on the screen now, if you're able to read that, hopefully you have it on a, on a desktop device, you will see that the project in this unit has each group of students taking on the role of a design team employed by a firm that manufactures garage door openers. Now, in this particular case, in this scenario, students are being required to design a specific type of control system for a new line of garage doors. The manufacturer's requirements for these doors are all spelled out, such as in this case, the use of limit switches, uh, meeting certain safety codes that require a method for sensing if anything is in the way of a closing door, and also the incorporation of an automatic light. So again, each team of students will be tasked with creating both the unique and original prototype, in this case, of course, it's this garage door opening system, as well as the programming needed to control the prototype. Now, as they move through the challenge being put forth in the scenario, each student team will be required to document the entire process in both a design notebook and a digital engineering journal. And this means noting all the research, all the trial and error experiments, and keeping copies of all design sketches and revisions and anything else that may come up during the course of the project. At the end of each project unit, each team of students will be required to make a formal presentation in front of the class, during which they will be asked to demonstrate their prototype and the programming in action, much as they would be required to do if they were working out this solution for an actual employer or a client in the real world. Next up is a section where we encounter the daily plan. And this is essentially a section that's supposed to clearly spell out both for the students and the teachers what's going to be expected of the students, how the teacher will conduct the day's classroom activities, 
and what specific subject matter is going to be covered. Now, some days may involve, let's say, discussion activities. Other days may involve research or building small projects that can help provide the building blocks, no pun intended, that students are going to draw on to complete the larger project that they're working on during the course of the unit. But in short, you can think of the daily plan as being a roadmap designed to keep everyone on the same path. You will see too that along the way as different aspects are addressed in each day's activity, such as for example, what is going to be required in a design notebook or how to use the control software, working with the controller with flow charts. As each of these things comes up, there are links to sections that will provide further instructions and information on each of these areas. And at the completion of each unit, after the last day of the daily plan, there is also a section containing vocabulary. And these can be thought of as important words and also terminology introduced during the project unit, as well as a selection of useful resource materials. Now, these resource materials can be a mix of different types of things, from carefully vetted websites and video links to PDF documents, PowerPoints, what have you. It's, of course, going to depend on the particular unit. Now, besides the project units, each of the curriculum documents also includes a special tutorial section designed to educate both students and teachers on how to use the Fisher Technic building system. Uh, now, this, this information will include uh, sections on how the parts are designed to fit together using, again, that pin and groove assembly method, identifying the different types of parts from the various types of girders and blocks, the different types of axles, gears, rivets, and, and much more. And students are also going to get to build a very basic sample model just to help familiarize them with the system before they move on to the larger projects being presented in each unit. And as learning about and maintaining proper documentation is one of the areas that is stressed in the course of the curriculum, there is also a section which details just what defines each type of documentation listed on the screen now and what is required of each. Now, as the process of conducting these types of more open project-based class activities can also be new to many teachers, there's also this section that discusses project-based STEM education and its benefits. And as that completes the overview of these two sets, let's very quickly review the contents and purpose of each set, but this time with the pricing. First, we have the Studica Introduction to Mechatronics Program Set, which is designed as a standards-focused, project-based introduction to the core concepts of mechatronics. Once again, it includes the highly detailed 242-page curriculum document entitled Mechatronics Fundamentals, written by noted educator and STEM expert Tom White. Now, the curriculum, again, when used in conjunction with the building materials included in the set, will provide teachers with enough activity material to fill approximately 45 academic hours. Again, it's designed for those educators who wish to offer a shorter class on this material, to use it for after school programs, or of course, for use in the homeschool environment. The teaching material is designed for use in middle schools and high schools, as well as by homeschooling parents, seeking to address STEM and mechatronics for these specific grade levels. The physical materials included in the set will be a selection of over 700 components, including blocks, gears, sensors, and more, all taken from the Fisher Technic building system, as well as two robotic control units and two power supplies. These materials are once again going to be used to construct the mechanical prototypes being addressed in each project unit of the curriculum. Software is required, but again, we provide a link for downloading that. Again, each set is designed for use by teams of four students at a time, and the pricing starts at just $699 for a single set that again covers the four students. Discount classroom pricing for groups of 20 students and up is of course available by quote upon request. Next is the Studica Teaching Application of Mechatronics Program set. And again, this is designed as a more in-depth standards-focused, project-based exploration of fundamental aspects of mechatronics, which is all based around a highly detailed 401-page curriculum document entitled Mechatronic Applications, again written by noted STEM expert Tom White. Now, when used in conjunction with the building components included in this set, 
The curriculum is designed to provide enough activity material to fill approximately 180 academic hours. And because of this, it's designed specifically for those teachers and homeschoolers who are able to dedicate a daily class period of 50 minutes per day, five days a week, or the equivalent. So let's say if you're going to do a approximately four and a half hour class once a week, that would still work. But either way, it's designed to cover a full academic year. The set is again designed for use in middle schools and high schools, as well as by homeschooling parents seeking to address STEM and mechatronics for these specific grade levels. And each box contains an assortment of over 1,200 components from the Fisher Technic building system. Again, various blocks, girders, gears, sensors, axles, and much more, as well as two robotic control units and two power supplies. You'll just need to download the software separately. Again, each set is designed for use by teams of four students with pricing for a single set that covers the four students starting at just $799 per set and classroom discount pricing for 20 students or more is available by both upon request. Now, as I mentioned the software before, uh, the reason we have the slide up here is because the software used to be available on a disk format that's changed. Either way, it's Fisher Technic Robo Pro, it's graphic programming software. It is used specifically for Windows versions 7, 8, and 10, uh, not for Chromebooks. Uh, you should be able to use this with 11, but it was they didn't design it specifically for 11. Uh, the software is now available absolutely free, and the download is available even right now at www.fishertechnic.de. So if you go there, and even if you wanted to just try out the software first off, make sure it's not an issue for you. For example, if you did have Windows 11, you could download it, install it, make sure that it works on your system before you, you know, purchase these sets. So at this point, if you did have any questions, this would be the time to use again, either that question and answer uh, window or the webinar chat window uh, that are on the Zoom toolbar. I see as we had our uh, friends from Miami and from Texas uh, writing in there before I know where you know where that's at already. So you found that. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can type those in. Otherwise, if I don't see anything pop up, I will move right ahead to the next slide, which talks about taking the next step. So if you'd like to request a quote for any of these sets in any amount, if you would like to speak to a dedicated educational representative for your area, either way, you could call us at Studica US. The number toll free is 888-561-7521. Uh, for general inquiries, quote requests, what have you, you can email us at info at studica.com. That's I-N-F-O at studica.com. And if you have any specific questions for me about anything that I've mentioned today, any aspect of the sets, uh, any aspect of the Fisher Technic system, or about learning more about Fisher Technic itself, as I am the Fisher Technic product manager as well, I'd be happy to help you with that. My email is up there as well. That's lance.zurich, that's L-A-N-C-E dot Z-U-R-E-K at studica.com. So on that note, again, I'd like to thank you very much for attending. Have a great day, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.